Yep. Um, we've got the AFM bar here. It's on eight inch spacings. And uh, yeah, when we we decided to retrofit the Ryan discs on, onto it, uh, mainly for small seeds, but uh, since then, yeah, we. We sowed lentils with it and uh, a fair bit of barley and, and uh, sometimes wheat, depending on, yeah, basically stubble load. We can go into standing straw a little bit more than what we can with the tine cedar and, uh, yeah, tend to that little bit shallow placement if we want it to be. And, yeah, we've been happy with the uh, the seed placement and, uh, yeah, we're on uh, second, second set of discs. Yeah, they went about six years, so, yeah. Um, we probably sowed... Uh, 1500 acres with it this year, I think. So, yeah, it'd be, uh, yeah, they would bang close to, yeah, 8,000 acres maybe, I suppose. We covered in 30 feet, so, yeah. And, uh, yeah, we've sort of got limestone country that can, yeah, rattle them around a little bit, so, yeah. Now, um, we, for the clothes on pole, and, uh, yeah, we're very happy with uh, the job they did in, you know, you know, fairly wet seeding here, they, they don't, or didn't build up with mud at all, and this hasn't uh, been washed off at all, so, yeah, it, uh, yeah, we are very happy with the job they did with, uh, with conditions, and especially we think they'll be good in uh, dry sown conditions as well, leaving a bit of, um, uh, packing around the seed, but leaving a bit of loose stuff around the, around the top of the, top of the seed road. So, yes, this, uh, this is a, uh, uh, crop of uh, beast barley sown um, early June and uh, yeah, a very good establishment and uh, yeah, very happy with the result. <laughs> <laughs>